the first wave of volunteers. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. So I wanted to share this. This came in the other day and I was like, well, let me do a video on that. Um, but I don't know if you've um, heard about the wave of volunteers, right? And so it was really interesting experience that I had because I was on the path. My journey awakening um, happens 2009. I started um, shedding everything and then moving into the near-death experience and then starting to work on myself, meditating, yoga, healthy behaviors. You know, as you follow along the path, you know, things start to evolve and just uh, you follow along, you know, and it takes you on the journey, right? And so uh, I never heard of, um, it was like 2016 now, right? And live in Clearwater Beach where a lot of my awakenings happen. And it was one morning I woke up and never heard of this person. Um, and my phone went off, um, and this is where I was really getting into, you know, more of the, the spiritual discussions, topics, listening to them. Um, now I, I believe I heard of, um, a few others prior to this person. Um, and it was so funny cause I was sleeping and then all of a sudden my phone went ding and I was like, I, I rolled over. I was like, is that somebody calling? <laughs> cause I was still sleeping. Um, and so I rolled over and then there was this video by a Matt Kahn. <laughs> so I was like, who is that? So I picked up the phone, like half groggy, just still in my, cause I was still in bed. I just reached over, picked up the phone and I was like, who is this? Right. <laughs> and it was the video, I believe it was like 2014. So I'm actually having the experience 2016, two years after he made the video at some point in 2014. And it was titled um, The First Waves of Volunteers. And I was like, well, that sounds interesting. Something told me to listen to it, right? Um, and so I laid there and I started playing it and it, I hit on the part where it said, he said something about, you didn't miss it, right? And he was talking about the first waves of volunteers. And my soul was like, it was like a whole relief of my soul it just went like, God, <laughs> you know? And at that point I was like, okay, I'm just going back to sleep now. And that's all that my soul needed to hear. It was like, you know, I didn't miss the awakening, the beginning of the awakening. Um, and obviously my soul had that set point set, but with me on my human journey, Laura, <laughs> going in all different directions, um, instead of following, you know, the path. <laughs> so going off sh shiny penny, shiny penny, you know, doing this, doing that. Um, I guess my soul was just kind of relieved that, you know, the whole process, it was, it was just a sigh of relief and just like, thank God I didn't miss it. You know, the soul, now whether that means I'm part of the first wave, I'm not really sure on that as far as my human Laura self, but I'm sure my soul essence knows some point you know passing over i'm sure i'm going to have that awareness of it um but i do have this memory um, of being on the other side when i had my near-death experience and which been downloaded that i did sign up uh for to come here so trying to put two degree together i mean just it's just you know piecing it together i'm going to say yes <laughs> you know my soul's been one of those um who was part of the first wave um, so that was really interesting. Um, and then, I, of course, you have your human consciousness and awareness that has no clue, right, of what's going on behind the scenes. But your soul knows everything. Your soul knows everything, your timeline, everything, because it's directly connected to source and where you are in the moment and what you're doing and having the experiences in your life as the human being, whole human soul. And although we are part of it, we are not it. It's just our way of experiencing, expressing um, in this uh, earthly realm, right? Let's just call it that, um, in this reality. But yeah, um, and then from there, it was just a continuation from two, because it was 2009, I had my first, <clears throat> it was like everything was in void. I was in void. Everything was just, uh, what is this for? It's like, it was just dying away. Everything of the ego, what I thought it was, was just dying away, which led into uh, my... Uh, inner death and, and then uh, the dark night of soul and then the, the near death experience and then coming back and then 
you know, the life reviews and then it just kind of evolved for there. And so I did a whole like continuous, it was like nonstop. It was like this drive to heal all this stuff, to get myself where I needed to be. And it was like a continuous evolution, very going rapidly. One thing after another, healing this, healing that, healing that, healing this, <laughs> you know, to clear all that out from what I've existed to get myself caught up to where I am now in the moment. Not that I'm done because there was always continuous cleaning, cleansing based on where you are in the moment of what you're creating, because if there's something that's in resistance to you creating that, that needs to come up and come out, right? That has to go. So we have to let that go. So there's always a constant cleansing and clearing uh, in our evolution of our system, our DNA that's going on. Um, so we can have the creation that we're creating, which is evolution, you know, and that's just the way that it is. That's what we are and why we do it, right? So um, to have something we, that's, in, and then there's something that's some resistance, we need to let that go so we can have that. So you gotta let it go, right? <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, that was like the first time I heard of the first waves as my human lore of self, uh, this first wave of volunteers was by that uh, Matt Khan uh, video, which settled with my soul so much. I was just so, it was like just such a deep relief and breath that I took from inward, uh, which is like, oh, thank God. Uh, kind of situation you know I was like what a relief <laughs> and then I just turned over and went back to bed and that was it but that was just a real fun um, experience that I had um, you know along the journey uh, and just wanted to share that information there so you know a lot of times we may not uh, be aware of you know certain things that are going on beyond the scenes but at some point in awareness we will know uh, what that is and what that means as it comes to us um, once we get caught up into that awareness so oh and um not that i am promoting uh matt Kahn, um and i'm not being paid or anything like that but if you are not aware of maybe that you are a part of the first wave of volunteers uh go check out that video and maybe it'll resonate with you too i'll share that link uh down below um for you Happy journeys.